There's a saying that goes, you don't know where you're going until you know where you've been. And when it comes to the Black College and National Football League, there's a long list of players who led the way for today's generation. Let's take a look at a few of the men who played the game at the highest level and left it with a wealth of knowledge and information they can share with you. His nickname was Hollywood Bags, a punishing sack master. Elsie Greenwood played at Arkansas AM and N and starred on four Super Bowl winning teams with the Pittsburgh Steelers. One of his teammates was the Southern Jaguar who revolutionized the defensive back position. For 13 seasons, Mel Blount terrorized opposing wide receivers. In 1989, he was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Lem Barney was a hard-hitting rogue of a defensive back and a man who made punt returning an art form. Robert Brazil was discovered by NFL scouts when they came visiting Jackson State to see Walter Payton. During his years with the Houston Oilers, Brazil was a head-hunting linebacker who wreaked havoc on running backs and receivers. Double zero. That was his number, but Texas Southern's Kenny Burrow racked up chunks of receiving yardage during his years as a teammate of Brazil's in Houston. The man given credit for starting those Gatorade showers is Harry Carson. The South Carolina State alumnus had 30 quarterback sacks as a senior and parlayed that into a distinguished career with the New York Giants. During his 13 seasons, Carson played in nine Pro Bowls and in 2006, he was elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Former Dallas Cowboys offensive lineman Rayfield Wright was also a 2006 NFL Hall of Fame inductee. Nicknamed the Big Cat, the former Fort Valley State star was a punishing blocker who earned all NFL honors for six consecutive seasons. The 1972 Miami Dolphins is still the only NFL team to go through an entire season undefeated. One of the cornerstones for them was Bethune-Cookman's Larry Little. Little was one of the best blockers the league has ever seen, and that led him to the Hall of Fame. Another black college alumnus to make it to the Hall of Fame, North Carolina A&T's Elvin Bethea. He led the Houston Oilers in sacks six times and has a franchise record 105 for his career. During the 1990s, former Fort Valley State star Greg Lloyd was known as the meanest man in the NFL. He was one of the league's premier linebackers with the Pittsburgh Steelers. The black college team that has sent the most players to the NFL is Grabbling State. The list includes two quarterbacks, James Shaq Harris and Doug Williams. Shaq was the NFL's first black impact quarterback, guiding the Los Angeles Rams to NFC West titles in 1974 and 75. Williams would be named MVP of Super Bowl 22 with the Washington Redskins, the first black quarterback to do so. The league's first modern day black head coach was former Oakland Raiders boss Art Shell. His years as an offensive lineman for the Silver and Black led the Maryland Eastern Shore alumnus to the hallowed hall in Canton, Ohio. Many players make it to the NFL by going the free agent route, but not many stick around to win NFL championships with two different teams. Grambling grad Everson Walls did, winning with the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. Eddie Robinson Jr. was a scholar athlete at Alabama State. In 1991, he was SBN's Defensive Player of the Year and later spent over a decade in the NFL with the Houston Oilers, Tennessee Titans, Jacksonville Jaguars, and the Buffalo Bills. The Black College All-America Weekend also includes players who played at other colleges. Minnesota's Rick Upchurch was a speedy wide receiver and kick returner for the Denver Broncos. University of Washington cornerback Nesby Glasgow played for the Indianapolis Colts and Seattle Seahawks. And Billy White Shoes Johnson dances his way from Widener College to the NFL end zones of the Houston Oilers and Atlanta Falcons. As we continue to remember contributions made by players in the past, we also embrace those who paved the way for the future. They include former Texas Southern and New York Giants defensive end Michael Strahan. The 1992 SBN Defensive Player of the Year played a key role in helping the Giants win Super Bowl 42. Recently, he was elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. 
Two other former SBN All-Americans got the 2014 call to the Hall of Fame. Aeneas Williams, a former Southern Jaguar, played several All-Pro seasons for the St. Louis Rams and Arizona Cardinals. Tennessee State's Claude Humphrey was the third player chosen in the 1968 NFL Draft. He played 10 seasons for the Atlanta Falcons and started for the Philadelphia Eagles in Super Bowl XV. Another Super Bowl winner is Indianapolis Colts defensive back Antoine Bethea. The former Howard Bison was a three-time SBN All-American. One of his teammates on the Colts championship team, 2002 SBN All-American Robert Mathis. The former Alabama A&M Bulldog has become one of the NFL's best at putting pressure on the quarterback. Jacoby Jones achieved his All-American status while playing for Lane College. In 2012, he set a record for the longest kickoff return in a Super Bowl when he dashed 108 yards to open up the second half in Baltimore's win over San Francisco. Tennessee State's Dominic Rogers Cromarty was a number one draft choice in 2008. He played in two Super Bowls, one with Arizona and most recently with Denver. Howard's Tracy White went from SBN All-American to an 11-year career with the Seahawks, Eagles, Packers, and Patriots. There are also several former SBN All-Americans who have continued their careers in the Canadian Football League. Bethune-Cookman Steve Baggs played for a couple of teams north of the border, including the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. 2012 SBN All-American and former Howard linebacker Keith Pugh is with the Calgary Stampeders. And former South Carolina State SBN All-American Will Ford is with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Sheridan Broadcasting, celebrating four decades of honoring black college All-Americans, due in large part to the commitment of Sheridan Broadcasting Corporation chairman and owner Ronald Davenport Sr., who this year receives the Founders Award from the Black College Football Hall of Fame. SBN Sports and Black College Football, 40 years and still going strong.